Not going as far as you guys. So. Plus. Back on the AT after a night at Jenkins Shelter, and I'm greeted with uh, almost 15, almost 2,000 feet of gain over four miles. So breathing, breathing pretty hard to start the day. I've already taken off <laughs> pretty much all of my layers because um, I was just sweating so bad. Um, Jenkins shelter was good. It got cold. I think I've learned, well, sometimes I forget that um, any shelter in like a valley that is right next to a body of water, in this case, there's a ton of water just surrounding the shelter. Not really moving that quick, so it's just kind of sitting there and it's cold. Um, man, it got cold last night. And I wasn't expecting it, but middle of the night I was I was cold and I was cold this morning so so yeah started with my fleece on and some pants and winter hat and I'd say within like 20 minutes felt like it changed like 20 degrees just hiking out of that little valley with the water and stuff so yeah don't have much left till the elevation is gonna take a break for a while but I need to catch my breath and um, keep on moving I'm gonna try and get to a hostel tonight that's around 20 away and then yeah it's you know I like seeing the hostels and it's only I think it's only 20 bucks to stay there and yeah it's 20 miles so that's right in the distance that I want to keep doing and I think uh, that guy Jeremy is gonna be there too so um, so yeah, that's the goal today, another 20 miles through Southern Virginia to, uh, to a hostel. So update on today, I've been hiking the Chestnut Knob, uh, or Chestnut Ridge. Um, it's been a pretty tough day. Not like yesterday, it's definitely rockier and just overall harder. And uh, it's pretty hot. It's like 75 degrees today. It's late October. It's like just extremes. It's like really hot and really cold. I guess yesterday was kind of perfect. Um, but uh, but yeah, there's been really no water and I had to go off trail. Off trail about a quarter mile to find this piped spring um, around Walker around Walker Gap. So uh, I am going a lot slower today. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it to that hostel. Definitely not when it's light out. Um, but it's just, I'm going slower cause it's harder and it's hotter and I'm sweating and there's no water. So I'm gonna sit here and drink for maybe 20 minutes cause I'm definitely dehydrated. And then uh, push on forward. I got another like thousand foot climb up chest chestnut knob and then once I get over that it looks a little easier for the rest of the day but um yeah been a tough tough start for sure so after another incredibly steep climb uh coming up on chestnut knob uh chestnut knob and chestnut knob shelter so there it is um I think the elevation here is like 4500 so we're definitely way up way up high and let's see if I can go in and see if anyone's in there and I'll show you inside oh wow look this view just kind of opens up but let's check out inside cool nice some bunks yeah fully enclosed that's pretty cool so I think the AT keeps going around that way so I'm gonna keep heading south um, but this would be a good one to stay at wish it worked out uh, that I could stay here 
but I want to keep going still feeling pretty good and I think it's gonna get a lot my day is gonna get a lot easier um, after this is a lot of downhill and a lot of smooth smoother trail so I'm not not far after chestnut uh, knob and I'm on this really open open ridge definitely over 4,000 feet and yeah just some really great great views of all the mountains around um I need to try and zoom in a little bit on these because yeah it's just like this nice light blue haze all around I'm I'm pretty high up so um yeah this is awesome <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy it it looks like this goes on at least for another half mile so I'm gonna enjoy it up here it's so nice just being out of the forest and being able to completely turn around and get views in every direction all right update from today I am uh, I'm at Lick Creek right now there used to be a bridge right there no longer here so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get across this thing um, obviously there's a way to get across there um, looks like I might be able to rock hop or log hop here um, there's also some trees down there but yeah I think I'm gonna go right across here and even if I get a little wet it's okay I did decide to stay in the hostel Trying to go real quick uh, to get there, so I'm not fumbling around in the dark trying to find the place. But um, yeah, still got just under six miles left, and it's already four o'clock. Yeah, so I'm right up against it uh, again, trying to get somewhere before dark. But um, I'm gonna try and focus on getting across this creek first. But yeah, I'm gonna try and just like go right across this log, maybe jump across over here, and uh, yeah, just go across the little, uh, go across the logs here and try and stay dry. It's starting to get a little, little dark on my day. Um, only about 20 minutes of daylight left, probably, maybe a half hour. But I'm at the Knot Mall shelter. Um, I want to show you this little, like, there's these pair of shoes here which um, are like water sandals and someone pretty much just left a note uh, left a note saying if you're going northbound which is not the way I'm going um, but to bring them down by the Lick Creek uh, stream crossing to help people who have to ford that river or ford that creek um, which I love I love this like little informal community and informal communication that happens just to support everyone out here so you see little stuff like that all the time at shelters like notes on items to bring ahead to other places and uh yeah just figured i'd show you one of them all right so it's officially gonna get dark soon um i got my headlamp ready to go um you can't well i guess yeah you can see i took the strap off of the headlamp and just put like a Nike headband like a really thin Nike headband and uh, I don't know that was back when I was counting every ounce <laughs> um, but yeah in case it looks a little different it's a Nightcore Nightcore headlamp with a different band um, but let me flip the camera I don't really know how well the video is picking up just the unbelievable colors right now but if I had a clear sunset view of sunset right there man it would be good but just being out here in the last hour of light I've mentioned it in other videos is like just so special so once you get over the fear of hiking in the dark you know you're you get you get all of these views and all this space out here on the trail to yourself. No one else is out here. And the colors and the views that you get are just, you can't replace them. So, just thankful that I'm out here. And I get to see this stuff every single day. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna 
night hike to this hostel. Uh, I don't remember the name of it, to be honest. So I'll put it probably in this video or tomorrow morning. Um, but yeah, then tomorrow going into Marion and uh, I have probably 12 miles into Marion and I have my last pair of shoes there. My topo shoes have lasted like well over 500 miles each of my last two pairs so I can't say enough about like their durability has been so good. But gonna get my last last pair of shoes there and just do some resupply and yeah I'm headed to Mount Rogers and Grayson Highlands and there's not much left in Virginia. I think I only have like a hundred something miles to Damascus so um, so yeah, tomorrow will be a short hiking day, short hiking day, and then into, into Marion for a stay over in a hostel and resupply. Um, but I can't thank you all enough for the support. Um, I know a few people have done the buy me a coffee thing lately. Uh, thank you so much for that. Um, it goes straight to food and hostels and helps me support the the trip and honestly the vlogging and all the time it takes to put the stuff up there so thank you for that and i hope you all have a great rest of your night take care